welcome to this fair of grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in. Glory to God. Today we are looking at the offensive dimension of, of the Word of God. There is an offensive dimension to the Word. Why? Because the Word of God is both defensive and offensive in nature. The Bible tells us in John chapter 6 and verse 6, 3, Jesus speaking, he says, it's the spirit that quickens, the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And then again in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17, the Bible tells us that the word of God is the sword of the spirit. That means you can attack with the word of God. The word is an instrument of attack against the enemy and every ugly circumstance and situation. Why? Because you can actually use the Word of God to effect changes. The Word of God is the sword of the Spirit to deal with everything and anything that is contrary to God's nature in your life. God's Word is very, very offensive. For example, in Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, The earth was that form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And then God said, there was an attack against that darkness. The Bible says, God who commanded light to shine out of darkness. He actually commanded light to shine out of darkness. Darkness phased out and then light took the place of darkness because God said so. The word of God is offensive in nature. So you can use God's word to attack everything that is not consistent with the nature of God, the word of God in your life. You can speak against sicknesses and diseases in your body. You can speak against circumstances and situations that are contrary to the word of God in your life. You can level the mountains. You can raise the valleys. You can smoothen the rough places. You can actually cause the crooked to be made straight through the spoken word. Because God's word has that offensive dimension. The word of God works wonders. You can also use the word in prayer to effect changes. Glory to God. For example, the prayer of faith that Jesus taught his disciples in Mark 11 and verse 23, he taught them to speak to mountains. He says, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, you are speaking God's word. You are addressing that situation. Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. You see, most of the time, believers complain about things happening around them. God is not doing this. God is not doing that. Whereas God has put you in charge to use his word as his image to effect changes in your life. So you can actually effect changes with the word of God in your mouth. The word of God in your mouth spoken in faith is as potent as the word of God in Jesus' mouth because we are his representatives as he is. So are we in this world. You can actually speak God's word with faith in your heart, love in your heart, and get awesome results. The spoken word is the sword of the Spirit today. You can attack the wicked one speaking the word of God. You cast out devils speaking the word of God. This was how Jesus cast out devils. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 16. Bible says, when it was evening, they brought unto him those who were sick and possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word. You see, we have been taught by the Word of God to engage God's Word in our lips in faith and then we get awesome results. In the name of Jesus, you can speak God's Word against demon spirits and they will respond. The Bible says when you resist them in faith, speaking God's Word, they will flee from you. Glory to God. So God's Word has offensive dimension to it and we, we have to learn to use God's word to effect changes in our lives, speaking it in faith, and we get awesome results. Glory to God. I believe you've been blessed today. I want to encourage you today. Use the word of God. Engage God's word. Speak it against situations and circumstances not consistent with the word of God, and you will get awesome results. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you, and God bless you.